Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trader Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover and generate import data from the module data management. This is the very first unit of this module. So here basically we will be importing contacts, uh, new records, and uh, the data which we will be uploading will be in the file of CSV format. And the, uh, the data in our file has to be mapped with a few standard contact fields uh, like F name in our file will be mapped to contact first name. Uh, L name in our file uh, will be mapped to contacts last name field and the cell uh, in our file, CSV file will be mapped to contact mobile field. So in order to get the file, uh, it has to be downloaded from this link. When Once you click on this link, it will redirect you to this raw data. So this is in the form of CSV. If you will uh, look at this closely, you can see that there are headings or you can say just the column names. So here, uh, and these are the records. So if you will see here, the first record is John, uh, F name is John, L name is Dodge, cell is this triple five, triple eight, and email is this one, the Dodge at the at example.com and salutation title SVT of sales. So these are the records, every line, every row represents a record in the format of this, these columns, right? So simply we have to download this uh, CSV and it will be downloaded. I'm using the default name. You can give it any name here and the type of the file has to be CSV. Just click on save button. So it will start downloading and it has been downloaded over here. Then go back to your uh, challenge and launch your trailhead playground, which I've already done here and go to setup. Now here I will in quick find type wizard in order to select the option data import wizard. So this is a inbuilt tool in Salesforce. We do not have to install or any external. This is a Salesforce inbuilt tool to import data. Now click scroll down, you will see this button launch wizard, click on this button. It will redirect you to this uh, UI. Now here we have to import contacts. So in order to uh, do that, you have to select the kind of data we are importing accounts and contacts. Select this. Now we will be adding new records into our system. So click on add new records. And here we have to upload our CSV file. Either you can select this one and click on choose file, or you can directly drag your file over here. So I'm going to drag my file here into this uh, box and my file has been uploaded. Once this is done, click on next again. Now here we have to map these fields. There are total six fields here of contact uh, that has to be, uh, that are there but uh, three are unmapped. So we have to map these three fields as per our challenge. Click on this map button. Now here we have to map uh, this F name with contact first name. So simply type first name, select this contact F name. And if you scroll down, you will see a button of map. Okay, uh, it is not coming here. Let's try zooming out and let's see if we can see. Okay, so uh, if we zoom out the screen, you will be able to see this map button. Uh, click on this button. So contact uh, a first name has been mapped to this F name column. Then for L name, just click on map again and type in search field L, uh, last name. Click on map again. Then for contact, just type contact, or I'm sorry, it has to be mobile. So contact mobile will be mapped to cell, right? So these are these are the fields uh, or the column name which uh, Salesforce doesn't understand. So in order to make him understand that, okay, we want to uh, map F name column with this field in our Salesforce uh, database, or you can say org. Right, so these are the six fields that we are mapping. Once this is done, click on next again, and it will give you a little summary that uh, we are uh, importing accounts and contacts. So basically we are importing contacts. So this will be included in this option and we are adding new records. So this is just a summary. We are mapping six fields as I have shown, uh, shown you in previous uh, screen and there are zero unmapped fields. 
Now click on start import and it will give you a pop-up that it has started. Click OK. Now here the status field will be uh, shown here. And if you can see, this is our, uh, the, this is the transaction for which we have and the status is completed over here. So our data has been imported. If you want, you can go to uh, your app launcher and going to contacts object. You can also see if the data which you just imported is visible in the org or not. So if you will go to this drop down icon and let's just uh, select new this week option. And this will give you the list of the record that we uploaded. So if you just go to, so this is Alice Black and Basil Vincilis. So if I go to my raw data and if you see here, this is the Alice Black record, which we uploaded. And this is the Basil one, right? So our data has been imported successfully. Now going back to our challenge, we have to just click on this check challenge button and hopefully it should pass all the use cases, test cases, and we should be able to pass this challenge. There you go. This unit has been completed. See you in the next video with the next unit. Till then, take care and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you.